Well, I'm sure you've probably noticed that it has been over three months since I've last posted a video. I do apologize. But that time has given me a chance to reflect on a few things, really. Reflect about why I take photographs, what motivates me to get out and, and shoot the, the landscape. What do I get out of it? And why should I get up at silly o'clock in the morning, in the middle of the summer, to take pictures? I haven't got the answers. Just thought I'd reflect today while I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I'll tell you where I am in a bit. So that's the subject of today's vlog. Why do we take pictures? So where am I? Well, I'm in North Norfolk. I'm on the North Norfolk coast, literally, as you can see behind, you've got the sea. And I'm at Sheringham. So I parked at the National Trust car park in Sheringham Park. And I've just walked through what looks like a really lovely woodland um, to this coast path here that leads you literally out to the edge of the cliffs here with the sea behind and then you've got sharing them in the distance and Cromer just a little bit further along than that. I guess I had to really come all the way to the coast. I haven't anticipated coming and taking any shots of the coast today, but I just felt as though I needed to come and see the sea when you're this close. There's something about it, isn't there? And I guess it's quite poignant, really, in terms of what I was saying earlier about why do we take pictures and what's happened in the last three months. So I'm not going to make excuses. I've just not been out much. I have tried to go out. I've taken a couple of part vlogs. Didn't really turn into anything. But I've not really felt as I needed to. Um, and that might sound a bit strange because it's a hobby for me and as it is for many of us, photography. But it's, it's what motivates us to go out and take pictures and, and why would we need to do that if, if we don't want to? <laughs> um, yeah, that's what got me thinking. Now there's a big difference between a hobbyist like myself and a, and a pro photographer. Whatever field of photography you're in, if you're doing it for a living then getting out and taking pictures is your job uh, and it pays the bills. And I get that 100%. And I get everybody that needs to promote themselves, you know, promote their brand on social media, promote their website, promote their YouTube channel, you know, get into types of um, tactics to, you know, just to raise your, your brand and your profile because it pays the bills. I get it. Not a problem with that at all. But for, for hobbyists like myself, and as I say, many others, I guess, that watch this channel, it's the question I ask myself is, you know, why am I taking, why, why in these summer months do I want to get out and take pictures? What motivates me to get out and take pictures? And it got me thinking about, well, you know, what do I do with my pictures? You know, what, generally speaking, if I go out and, and get 
two or three shots I'm happy with, I come back, I edit them, I enjoy the editing, so that's one part of it that I enjoy doing. And of course I, take, I, I enjoy taking them and the creation of them. But what do I do with him? I generally just, you know, might share one or two on social media. Um, and that's it, and they just sit on the hard drive. So what does that do for me? Does it, what, what do I get from that? Do I get the, I don't know, the satisfaction of other people enjoying the pictures that I might post on social media? I guess there's a bit of that in there. Do I enjoy the learning process of getting out there and maybe picking up tips or picking up ideas that I've maybe not thought of before that have worked. Yeah, I guess there's a bit of evolution in, as we mature in anything we do, we gradually get better at it. So that's, that's a good thing. But what else? <laughs> um, it doesn't certainly do my brand any good. I've not, well, I suppose I've got a brand in terms of my name and I've got a Facebook page with my photography name on it and but you know, I'm not, I'm not doing it for a living, but maybe one day I might do. You know, maybe one day I might take it up and want to make some money from it in the future. So I guess a little bit of what I'm doing is preparing a path for the future in terms of just getting recognition, I suppose, for the work that I'm producing and putting out there. And I guess from a personal perspective, you know, when you're creating something and creating a picture that you love, then there's a lot of satisfaction in that. A hell of a lot. Um, now, it's so subjective, as we've talked about before, photography. So it's nothing that others may love as well. But, you know, you've got that connection with a shot and therefore you love it and you've created it. And you've, you know, it's part of what you've learned to do. So that is it's very satisfying in that respect. I've got a few other thoughts, but I'll hold them for now. I don't know what I'm gonna take pictures of today. I really don't. There's a little tower on the top of that hill there. Looks quite nice, but light's a bit flat. And of course the woodland over there looks nice. I've got a day off work, so I can relax and take my time a bit. I will take some pictures. But what will I do with them? And why am I taking them? Let's get on. Now this illustrates a good point in what I'm talking about. Why did I just stop and take this shot? I think why I did is because I'm recording a vlog. I'm out, I know I'm recording a vlog and therefore I wanna try and get some pictures to share with you guys. But it's not the best shot in the world and this will be one of those shots that if it edits okay, then fine, I will share it with you guys, but it will sit on my hard drive. I won't do anything else with it. Um, you know, it's a nice enough shot. I've, there's a windmill in the distance, which is what caught my eye, and that's what made me stop. And there's a little copse of Scots pines that are sort of leading down to the windmill. And I just thought it quite worked well. There's little bales of hay in the opposite corner, so it balances. Don't really like this winter wheat field in the foreground, doesn't add much to it. It's a nice cloud in the sky, which helped. So all these elements I'm putting together in my head, I'm thinking, oh, you know, technically this could work quite nicely, could make a nice picture. But I know it's going to be one of those when I get back tonight and I look at it on the screen and I'm thinking, yes, OK. And as I say, it'll just sit on the hard drive. So why do I take it? Why am I trying to use the technicalities of photography in terms of composition and subject and balance and light and everything else it doesn't necessarily make a picture that you want to keep and you want to print but you want to share and be proud of so why do you do it i ain't got a clue i really haven't anyway let's move on
So this is definitely one reason why I do take photographs. And that is, I do enjoy woodland photography. And I do enjoy getting into the woods and just creating different pictures. So that's definitely a reason why I take them. What I do with them afterwards is another story. How many sit on a hard drive is another story. But I do enjoy the creative process of woodland photography. I've, ha I've wandered back into Sheringham Woods and I'm in an area, let me show you. In an area here of pine woodland, and I don't often shoot in pine woodland, but I came across this area here and it seemed really soft. The light is, is sort of in and out of the clouds today, but it seemed really soft. And I quite like this little composition with this young pine tree here on the left hand side with a tree and this little scrub path taking you through these trees. And all of these trees here are without their needle, but they just feel, I don't know, they've got that soft feeling to them. It's really weird, I can't describe it, apart from what I've just said. Um, and when we do get a slight little bit of light coming through, it just warms the scene up and it feels a very warm and soft scene. Um, so I've got that feeling with this shot, which is why I took it. <laughs> don't know what it'd be like, but anyway. I'm going to wander through here now, just to see if there's anything else in this woodland. But yeah, that's why I took this shot. One, because I love woodland, and two, because I got a feeling with it. Okay, let's start answering some of the questions that I've been asking today about why I take pictures. Well, one of the things I said earlier on was, you know, what do we do with the pictures that we take? Why should we just go out and take pictures for them to sit on a hard drive? What, are, what motivates us to, to, to create them? Uh, and it's a question I've been asking myself a lot because mine, as I said earlier, tend to just sit on social media or, you know, on these videos. So I've decided I'm gonna invest in a printer. So that's one of the new reasons moving forward why I'm going to be taking pictures because I'm going to be taking pictures that I think will look good in print. Um, you know, and hopefully that will encourage me to, to get out more, to maybe be a little bit more selective in terms of the pictures I'm taking because I'm taking them hopefully to be able to print them. Um, I'm not expecting it to transform my photography, but I'm expecting it to hopefully give me that more enjoyment out of the whole process because you know being able to go out and the on you know during the daytime on the morning on the evening grab a shot get back process it and print it you know physically hold it in your hands is is you know i've seen a lot of people talk about it and it becomes tangible it comes something that you can enjoy rather than just sitting on your hard drive um so yeah 100 percent i'm going to be investing in a printer uh, I'm going to start to print my own work um, and I'm hoping that will give me you know, a good reason to get out and take pictures. So that's one of the reasons why I take pictures or why I will be taking pictures moving forward. I've taken one here. Um, you might be able to see behind, I'm not sure whether you can, but there's a, a really lovely old sculptured oak tree that's uh, dying off, losing loads of branches and you know it's surrounded by some lovely yellowy green leaves. There's a little bit of light coming through. It's the main subjects that's catching the light. And it's, it's just a simple scene, but I really like it. You know, w would this be one that I would print? Mm, not 100% sure, actually. But it'd be good fun trying it to see what it looks like in print. And that's, you know, something that I will be able to do. So yeah, simple shot, but you know, my woodland work I enjoy. So this is a hopefully a shot that will not just sit on the hard drive. Well, there is one obvious reason why we all take pictures. And if I'm honest, I realized this at the weekend when I was editing some shots that I took on Friday and that's to make memories and to capture memories of the times that you were behind that camera. In fact, I was out on Friday at my son's graduation 
and I took some shots at him with a camera and I edited them at the weekend and I thought, yeah, this is, this is why I enjoy photography. It's being able to capture those moments and keep those memories. And whether I print them, whether I keep them on my hard drive, whether I put them on social media, I guess it doesn't matter, I've still got those memories. Should have probably known that from the beginning without having to go through and question myself all day long. So I hope my ramblings of today have made a little bit of sense. They have for me. So until the next one, I promise the next time it will be, it won't be three months. It'll be a bit quicker than that. But until then, you take care and I'll see you soon.